Our world is long since shattered, but hope still flickers in our darkest dreams. Few would guess that our fate would be decided upon the Oneric Isles, an almost forgotten archipelago of the southern sky realms. On these uncanny islands, the apostatic union, power drunk after slaughtering their once exalted gods, maintains but a paltry presence. Under their negligent gaze, the deep forests and dark places teem with cutthroats, cultists, and worse. In the desolate, endless realm, poor souls languish undying in decrepit mausoleums, yearning for their lost mortality. While the Clockwork Kingdom, ruled by the crooked logic of its manufactured monarch, strives to transform not just the realm, but reality itself. All these regions have their part to play in this unfolding story, but it begins fathoms below in the Underlands, a ruinous wasteland where none can draw breath for long. It is here that a secret waits to be uncovered by someone whose dreams burn brighter than any. But will those dreams kindle into a radiant destiny? Or will we burn in the folly of delusion? Welcome back everyone and welcome to Dread Delusion. This is by far one of the most highly rated games on Steam that perhaps you've never even heard of. But believe me, you are missing out on this game if you haven't played it, particularly if you're an RPG fan. From the developers, Dread Delusion is an open world RPG brimming with strange places and dark perils. Carve your own path through the flying continents of a shattered land. Discover curious towns, unearth occult secrets, master powerful magic, and change the world through your choices. And there's one review that I've already seen on Steam for this game that sums up the first couple of hours that I've already put in prior to putting this first video out to you all. Have you ever thought about what it would be like if Bethesda had released an Elder Scrolls game in 1999 on the N64, wonder no more. Nothing quite captures the look of fighting a floating neon green one-eyed monster <laughs> with golden crustacean legs under a magenta skybox, dying chartreuse trees and towering turquoise mushrooms. This is an incredible game that I am so excited to make a series out of now I think and so excited to bring to you all. So, as always guys, let's jump right in. The world was long ago broken, its surface cursed. You are a dweller of the Sky Realms, drifting islands that cradle the last of human civilization. Here, in the dank cell of an Inquisition ship, you ruminate on your past. Dreams of childhood slip through your mind. Was your fate sealed, even then? Okay, well here we are. Dread Delusion, I've been looking forward to this for some time, to be fair. I've heard so much good things about it. Love an RPG. Uh, just having a little look here. I'm already thinking Urchin or Noble. So Urchin, grown up, you were nobody. Just another malnourished child clogging the city. Without the street gang, you'd have died like the rest. They taught you to see what others didn't, to slip in where others couldn't. They taught you to survive. So plus two guile increases stamina, lockpick and agility. But noble gives me child of noble birth. You were dining with foreign dignitaries before you could walk. You learned manners and etiquette, but more than anything, tenacity. For the glittering halls of Riova can be more cutthroat than the darkest valleys. That gives me plus two persona, which is charm and barter. I'm gonna go lockpick and agility. 
The body grew, the mind sharpened. For a while, you excelled. Okay, I've had a little read through. I think I'm going to go fixer here. Um, trying to go some kind of, you know, thief, stealth type character. In a bloody business, you kept your hands clean. In pubs and markets, you built your network, mingling and scheming. Elsewhere, nefarious deeds were committed and you were, of course, never involved. But your purse was never empty either. The ability to influence others through dialogue can reveal important information or resolve difficult encounters. So I'm going to go this one, I think. Cracks showed. Your guard slipped. The mistake was grave. The Inquisition had your scent. Right, that didn't take too long for me there. Paranoid I'm going to go for. As the years passed, your paranoia grew. You were always on the move. You never stayed in the same bed twice. Turned out you were right, though. They really were hunting you, and they found you. So plus 20 agility increases movement speed and jump height. Oh, here we go. We're in. Oh, this is very, very slow mouse. Look at this. Let me just... That's a little bit better, I think, there. Right, can we talk to this guy here? Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought he was just like seriously malnourished or something. Look at that. Look at that scenery, that's insane. Oh, out we go. Oh shit, is that a guard? Oh my god. Okay, so we don't have a dark elf here. Laughing at us from across the cells. If you know, you know. Can I get in here? Go. Uh, coins. Pilfered. Three coins. I think he's dead too. Okay, right. Do I go and chat to this person here? Just the guard? Hello? Prisoner. What, 17? XVII? You have been marked for temporary release. The High Confessor will see you in the central chamber. Do not keep her waiting. Uh, who are you? I was a prisoner like you, but the Inquisition and its generosity has made me so much more. Cipher magic runs through my veins. My sins have been cleansed. I'm a servant of the Inquisition now. Okay. Do anything with that? No. Right, okay. So, up this way to the whoever it was, Grand Inquisitor. Might be getting mixed up with Obi-Wan. Oh! The device lurches on unstable legs, thick blood oozing from its seams with each shuddering movement. A woman's voice, hoarse and raspy, echoes from within the device. The service is required, Prisoner 17, or XVII, who knows. Uh, That's not my name. You forfeited the right to a name when you betrayed the apostatic union. A number is all you deserve. But I offer you the chance of penance, an opportunity to atone for your vulgar crimes. I am the High Confessor of this Inquisition, Combat Tribunal. We are tracking the most dangerous of criminals, and you will help us. Uh, how? Oh, look at this. Our target's whereabouts have been known for some time. A backwater archipelago? Pelago? on the very fringes of Union territory. Known as the Oneric Isles, these flying islands are host to a manner of outcasts and miscreants. We arrived a few hours ago, but met with fierce resistance. Our target is in the Blinding Light Fortress, the last remaining holdout of the Dark Star mercenaries. Our quarry is their leader, the notorious Vela Kalos. Uh, this is, well, this is suicide? I have no choice. Take this Inquisition journal. A mechanical arm thrusts a peculiar device in your direction. It will keep track of your mission. My drones can offer guidance, and closer to the blinding light, Inquisitor Ignavus can assist you further. Oh, don't try to run. These flying islands are unstable, and many a fool has fallen to their death. Cool, okay. I like this already. That's who I'm tracking down. That's the map. Oh god, that is some speed, isn't it? Oh, look at this chest here. 
rusty sword. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, well, I'll take it. Who is this? Damaged doors can be broken with a weapon. There's a chest near to me. Pick up the sword, then press the inventory key to open your journal. Navigate to the equipment panel and equip the sword into one of your weapon slots. Remember to press the attack key to unholster your weapon. This is a meager task. I calculate there is a 1 in 20 chance you will somehow perish in the attempt. Okay. Uh, tab. Yes. Put it into a weapon slot. Uh, here. Uh, yes. Equip. Oh, look. Right. It's a weapon slot. Some armor, presumably. Right. Oh, here we go. Attack. Right. Did not perish. Is this... Health? Health potion. I'll take that. Spells and quick items must be equipped in the equipment menu before use. Once equipped, press spell to use spells. An item to use items. You can scroll through equipped items with switch item or spells with switch spell. Jesus, okay. Uh, you're joking. Have I used my health potion? Watch there. Oh, look at that floating up in there. So that's where I'm heading to, is it? This is incredible. Oh, something else here. Oh, we'll land on it. Revitalizes mana. Do I have a jump? Yes, I do. Yeah. What's this? Oh, my goodness, mate. Okay, so. Looks like Morrowind in its graphic style, I suppose. On purpose, obviously. Oh, it's a ghost. What the hell's this? What do we have here? Another wretched soul caught in the Inquisition's web, no doubt. Tell me. Has your High Confessor sent you off to die? Are you a ghost? Are you shocked by an apparition? My, my. You won't get far if that's the case. Well, stranger, you best watch yourself out there. Mark my word, something's brewing on these islands. The stage is set, the curtain's drawn, and the performance is set to bring the house down. Oh, wow. Something tells me you have your own role to play. Right, let's... Come back to her in a second, see if I can hit her with my sword or something. The sword looks ruined, look at it, man. Don't think I want to dare get in there. Uh, this way, nothing here. Okay, that's it. Well, that's just moved. What are we doing? I need to figure out this spell thing here. Oh, these are my stats. Right, so... Mouse... Right mouse button is spell. So if I go into inventory... I don't want to use this potion, though. Oh, no. Right, okay. Right, that's fine, just leave it. Maybe I shouldn't hit her. I've just got a rusty old sword here. Probably need a silver sword. I'm just thinking... Whoa. Thinking purely from a Elder Scrolls perspective. I need a silver sword, really. Although I'm so much more of a... Bow and Arrow player. Here we go. Look at this. Ammunition. Excellent. Right, give me a bow. I'm sorted. What's this? Number of skills that determine your effectiveness at certain tasks. Some are active skills, such as lockpick or law, which let you interact with objects in the world. Others are passive skills, such as defense and regen. Skill can be improved by increasing the delusion attribute that governs it, or with special equipment. Okay. Perfect. Can we break the boxes? No. Uh, this looks breakable, though. It is. Oh. Lockpick. Excellent. Was that a baddie over there? Um, let's quickly run up. Oh, space to jump. Another one. Throwing knife. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, 
There's something over there too, isn't there? Let's go back down there quickly. Gained health portion. What the hell is this? It's a skull. Oh, you glimpsed a glimmer of delusion. Four delusion attributes, the fundamental attributes which govern your skills, might, wisdom, guile and persona. To increase these attributes you must find enough glimmers of delusion by exploring or completing quests. Uh, sod it, let's go in here. Oh, what's this? Will it let me do anything? Nope. Health portion. Stamina portion. Oh, so I am a little bit down on stamina as it happens. Right, how the hell can I do anything with this? Nope. Okay. Uh, right. How do I get to my other weapon slots, I wonder? Oh, God. Okay, seemingly the hardest thing in the world to equip a throwing knife into my secondary inventory items. Right, let's see what happens with this thing here. The road ahead is patrolled by Dark Star mercenaries. I strongly recommend sneaking through the mushrooms to avoid combat. Oh, I can see them in the corner of the screen. It's not that I doubt your skills. I calculate a 3 in 5 chance you will die horribly. Remember, direct conflict is usually avoidable. Be on the lookout for ways to sneak past tough enemies. Right. Do you want to get anything off this person here? Nope. Uh, right. Where's the mushrooms? I can crouch. Maybe I can sneak this way here. There's a health portion there, though I really want that. Oh no! Oh, that didn't go very well, did it? Sugar. This way? Yes. Try it again. Bloody hell. Oh no, they're there. Does that noise me? Somebody see me? Oh, look at that there. Is that meant to be on fire? That looks so good. I think this is a really pretty game, this. Meant to be, it's like deliberately. Oh, look. They're all fighting. They're having a fight over there. Right, anything around here? Oh, yes. Oh, another throwing knife. Um, I wish I knew how to actually use the throwing knife properly. Okay, this house is on fire, clearly. Um, oh, what if I wanted to go up there? I might have balls this up here. Oh no, they're all dead. Oh no, one made it. Get in here. Here we've got uh, coins, health portion, nothing. Okay. Uh oh, quick. Don't, it must be the noise of the plants. I think I'm too far away to be seen. I would like to think so. Right this way, I'm crouching all the way here. Oh look, oh, shit. I don't know what these like orange people are. Look like they've been burned or something. They don't have any items I can take off them, which is strange. Um I loop around this way. There's a flying guy over there too.
Okay. I think we're good. Let's see what this says here. Some doors can be unlocked using a lockpick item. Your chance of success is governed by a lockpick skill, which is governed by your guile. If an attempt fails, one of your lockpicks will break. Okay. Right, this person, will you lockpick? To progress, you must unlock this door. You will need a lockpick to begin. You should find an ample supply next to me. There's a chance you will fail. The lockpick will break. To pick locks more easily, increase your lockpick skill. Uh, there is an art to disguising secrets through magical means. Okay. Uh, where's the pile of lockpicks that he's talking about? I've only got two, allegedly. Right, E. Oh, wow. Well, that was kind of easy. Didn't require any skill by me at all there. Oh, he's here again. This guy's just... How's he stealthing his way through? Right, watch this. Uh, some doors can be opened via hid hidden mechanisms. These secret switches require a high enough law skill and a small amount of mana to unlock. The law skill is governed by a wisdom. You may be able to further increase it using special equipment. So mana, I'm guessing, is like my magic skill. If I'm referring it back to <laughs> back to uh, Elder Scrolls. In this room, the candlesticks on the wall have been enchanted to seal a secret passage. Uh, to dispel them, you'll need enough law skill. The incantation will deplete your mana slightly. Single passageway may need several switches, so always be mindful of your surroundings. So pull these. that one too. Something has changed. The door's opened. Excellent. Uh, look at that smoke there. I love the way the smoke and the fire looks. It's like so like artificial obviously but it just looks so good at the same time. It's a beautiful game this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh look at that thing. What the hell? I feel like I want to talk to my dude here and See what he says. Inquisitor Ignavius is waiting for you in the nearby Inquisition column, Prisoner 17. We strongly recommend speaking to him before wandering forth to your highly probable demise. <laughs> right. So this is our tower, is it? How are they losing when they've got like, power like this? Right. This person. Look at this guy. He looks like a Spanish pirate or something. Uh, do you smell that, Prisoner 17? Uh, the smoke of battle? I suppose there is a hint of that. But I was actually talking about mushroom spores. Oh. I've never seen this many mushrooms in my life. So is this guy like a shroom addict or something? Such wide stalks, such healthy gills. And such potent spores. We have mushroom forests back home in Lundell, but nothing like this. He waggles a finger at you. Prisoner 17, if you get back alive, remind me to get a batch of secretion tea for my wife. They make it here in the Oneric Isles, and I hear it's to die for. Uh, okay. That's damn good of you, prisoner. <laughs> Where are my manners? Inquisitor Ignavius of the Twelfth Inquisitorial Tribunal. Pleased to make your uh, try again. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Shake his hand firmly. Try and be nice. Don't let me out. I say I'm in good company, prisoner. That's the blinding light. The fortress of Vela Kalos, leader of the Dark Star mercenaries. The High Confessor told me you would be joining in the assault, and not a moment too soon. We need all the help we can get. I've sent all my agents, but so far none have reported back. We experienced heavy fighting, but it seems those Dark Star ruffians are a tougher bunch than we gave them credit for. Your orders are to capture Vela alive. A tall order, I'll admit, but I think you're up to the job, prisoner. So any questions? Can I have a better sword than this? Right, okay, so I've been reading or talking to this guy and reading everything he's had to say. 
um, learned a little bit more about the law, but also learned there is a side door if I want to take the side door and sneak. I can practice my combat skills here, apparently. Another ghost there. What's this? Resting in, in beds uh, restores your health, mana, and maximum stamina. So is this legit? Can I sleep here? Uh, what does that mean? Oh, nice. Right, okay. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, no. Oh. Right. Have I, have I took the spell? I don't know. Crystal points restore your mana. Use the home spell to return to the last crystal point visited. It'll also appear at the last used crystal point when loading the game. So is this like the save area, I guess? Oops. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> your attack damage depends on your stamina. The lower your stamina, the less damage you'll do. Maximum stamina will deplete over time. If it reaches half its original value, you become fatigued, reducing all stats. Oh my god, right. What the hell? What on earth? Or block? Oh. I'm just getting carved up here. It's meant to be on my side. Right, there's something down there that I want to quickly have a look at. Skull, what does that do? Oh, Glimmer of Delusion. Yes, I love that. Collect more to gain a full delusion. Okay. Right. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, I don't know if I've just said. Oh yeah, I've said there yet. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's a fort that I want to go into. Why is this person here again? Uh, it struck fear into the hearts of many who were braver and stronger than you, stranger. Made in the God War, so the apostatics named it the Blinding Light to ridicule the gods they planned to butcher. Ironic that it should fall in the hands of someone so blinded by ambition and zeal. The Vela has claimed it in pursuit of her own twisted heaven, and the Blinding Light now turns its guns towards the faithless souls who made it. Tell me, stranger, the hated enemy stood between you and your most cherished ideal. Would you strike them down? Would you have the arrogance to take a life in pursuit of your fantasy? Uh, I would kill for my beliefs. The Sky Realms are stained with the blood of those who stood on the wrong side of history. Even the gods prove fallible in the end. Still, I fear that in a world like this, such a heart will only see you dead in a gutter by the sword of someone far less scrupulous. Okay, so is she going to, like, follow us around? Um... Let's quickly nip round here because the man with the goatee did tell me about a side door. Doesn't look like this, is it? Stamina portion, perfect. He's... Oh, look at this. Eye of Peguth, a flower shaped oddly like an eyeball. Can be used as an alchemy ingredient. Nice. Okay. Oh, right. I'm getting it now so I can get stuff for portions too. It's been busted. Right, I'm gonna look for the side door. I'm not entirely certain where it is. Unless, uh, tab. Here we go. Accessed by a stairwell on the side that may require less bloodshed. Yeah, here we go. Could this be it here? Oh my goodness. What the hell is that? Are these like airdrops? For me? Oh, lockpick. 
I'm getting the impression that I'm possibly not going the right way here. Throwing a knife, another one. Lift is not yet active. Jesus. Right. Let's nip round and check the other side. Oh, it uses my stamina to sprint, of course it does. This sword is appalling. Look at the state of it. I'm going to do anybody with this. Oh, that's just... doesn't do anything at all. Oh, I might have to... Oh, there's the stairs. Look. Right, I'm going to have to get into combat here. Let's try it out. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, what on earth? Right, game, gained ammunition. But I need a bow for that. Crazy flowers. Another one of these uh, Eye of Pegasus. So yeah, like I was saying earlier on, I've learned some more about the law now um, by speaking to the man with the goatee. Um, the person here that we're looking to take out is like a mercenary commander or former mercenary commander. Shit. I don't think there's any way I can block. Look at them waving at me. That's mad. Uh, right. Yeah, um, basically former mercenary commander but even her own people have turned against her of late because she believes that she could find a way into heaven which according to the inquisitors is kind of like blasphemy and what have you so they have now ordered for her to be taken out I don't quite understand that it said needed a four and I got a six um, doesn't do anything. Oh, sugar. Do I have to? Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that was going to come down on me. What on earth? Can I pick anything up here? Like this here? Can it be moved? Shit. Right, one more lockpick. If I trigger the trap using a throwing knife, can I do that? That's not gone well at all. That. Can I jump over it? Oh god, here goes nothing. Right, and then what is this? Oh, spike trap. I think the best way here is up onto that. Up onto that. Please let me crouch. Right. And then... Ah, oh, bloody hell. Uh, health portion, yep. Yeah. Oh god, that's not instant, is it? <laughs> Traps everywhere. Right, I'm going to set a running jump on this one. Probably still go wrong. Yes, did it. I have coins. Noise barred from the other side. Is there a move button? Can I move stuff? Oh, hang on, this doesn't look safe. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> I thought that had moved. I thought it trapped me. Take the coins. Crouch into here. And then down we go. Oh, look at all this below me, all this loot and stuff here. Right, this way. Some coins there. I could do with that. Oh, shit. 
Oh, excellent. Right, so there's a delusion here. You embrace the delusion, use it to increase an attribute. Does that do anything? No. Paintings. Right, what does my delusion do here? Delusion is one. So, why don't I do... Um, persona. For now. I kind of like like a charming thief character, if you know what I mean. Lockpick. An assortment of maps and notes and diagrams clutter the table, detailing the planned exploits of the Dark Star mercenaries. One in particular catches your eye. An expedition for the cursed underlands, far below the Sky Realms. Can I look out of this? Nope. It's a shame. Uh, what's... Oh, there's something here. Done it already. Can I get up on it? Yes, I can. Just a look out. Something over there. Look at that big tower there as well. I want to be up there. Right. Uh, anything... Are we here? Yep. Coins. What does this do? Recognise these old machines are Godwall relics, inoperable and mostly useless. Such strange contraptions are rarely seen outside the Clockwork Kingdom these days. Okay. Uh, this way here? Yep, yeah, but there is another door here, so we've obviously got to try that. Bad from the other side, bugger. Oh, do I need the bed? Better not. It's a little bit dangerous <laughs> sleeping here. Get the door bar off. In we go. Can I do a sneak attack? Oh, it's not worked. Oh, didn't quite block it, but... Oh, no, you're not having that leg. That was lucky. Took the health potion, but I just managed to get her in time. Or him. Right, uh... Can I use these to get to secrets or anything like that? Doesn't appear to be anything up there. Let's see what's up this way. Quite a few people being slaughtered here. Here's my guy. Where are you going? Are you attempting to run? If you must recuperate. The lift next will take you back to the Inquisition camp. That's not where I'm going. That's what I'm doing. Exploring, man. I'm not allowed to explore. Saving. Right, okay. Um, this door here, first off. Oh, so, okay, that lift will take me up to where I need to be. Let's just quickly get these coins. Oh, shit, there's two of them. Oh! Shit. Right, let's tempt them in. Oh, she's got a shield. Is there any actual way of breaking through the shield? No. Got him. Right, coins. Probably should take a health portion real quick here. How do I do that? That one there. Yep. So it's not instantaneous, is it? You can still die. Sprint. Take them out. Got it. Throwing knife. Oh, look at this. Right. Be here. Don't know what that'll do for me. I'll have to check it out. Cup of tea there. Nice. Um... Health potion. Combat isn't too bad so far, gotta say. Um, take the stamina potion as well. 
probably what I should do is just go up the battlements really because I think I'm going around here and defeating the object of me sneaking in really. <laughs> I'm going around just killing everybody anyway. Right, let's head straight up to the top. This way, wasn't it? Lift up, here we go. This looks like an interesting landmark. Right, how many people are there? Just the one. Right, I'm going to just sprint here, straight down. Do a mint. Before they can even turn around. Got it. Keep seeing her. They just look a little bit feminine, the way that they are. <laughs> uh, right. Five coins. This is just a little stream. I don't really want to fall down there, I don't think, do I? Let's head through here. So many bodies. Pilfered one coin. Oh, what's this? Look at this. Iron ore. Oh, wow. I must be able to upgrade weapons and all sorts, do I? Not just where I came from. No, it's not. Health potion. Little uh, airdrop here. Mana potion. Oh, look, I guess we're going up here. We're going up to the highest point, aren't we? So, oh, come on. Four coins. Right, this way then, definitely. Look at the sky. I think the sky looks insane. Even the music's quite, like, soothing. There isn't any fight music. <laughs> Which I guess is, is not great, because it doesn't tell me when I'm in danger. <laughs> Check out up here. Oh, that look, that must be her there. I guess I'll get told off if I go that way, so let's, um, nothing here yet. Right, let's get through there and fight her. Is it going to save for me? Oh, look, she's on the other side. Blood seeps from her arm as she's wounded. Well, I can't really see her, to be fair, can I? Loose the sails, and why is the anti-grav engine not running? Suddenly you catch her eye. What's this? A stranger? The Dark Star Company greets you. My apologies. You've caught us at a rather inopportune moment. Uh, I've come to apprehend you in the name of the Inquisition. They'll only kill me otherwise, won't they? Well, that's good. You've come to apprehend me. You look like you need a meal and a lie down. I don't think you're in a state to apprehend a silk slug. These Inquisition dogs really must be desperate, eh? Still, we can't tarry here. Events are in motion that can't be stopped. Prepare yourself, straggler. Great deeds are afoot. Deeds that will bring the apostatic union's tyranny to an end. And that will usher in a new age of heaven. And with that, we must take our leave. It's been a pleasure, but I doubt we'll meet again. Off she goes. Look at that. It's the robots I fall out for. <laughs> They're going to crash into a skyscraper. Maybe I should have gone this way. Could I? Oh no, I wouldn't have got to her there either, would I? Where have they gone? They've just flown off. Uh, e, what does this do? Oh, upgrade property. Don't know what that I'll come back to that. Uh, take these bits here. Stamina. Coins. The ghosts back down here too, I've just noticed. Take that save quickly. Right, speak to the ghost. Vela spent countless nights here, hunched at a desk by the light of a candle. While the rest of her crew slept, she would pore over sky charts and scour all tomes for shreds of arcane knowledge. Back then, when I was flesh and blood, 
I thought she was driven by a pure desire to carve out a better world. But in time, I came to think of her as little more than a frightened girl trying to fix something broken inside herself. There is a thorn in Vela's heart that she cannot remove. Sometimes it's maddening. Or sometimes it's maddening scratch pushes her to greatness. Other times, it twists her into cruelty and barbarism. Listen, stranger. Whether you wish it or not, you will cross paths with Vela. I see it as clear as day. But what will happen next is a tangle of infinite possibilities, a dark void that swallows any attempt at foresight. If you wish to understand, the woman your fate is bound to, seek an old manor that drifts on the northeastern edge of Hallowshire. I will meet you there. Entice, this oddity of a spell draws upon the caster's force of personality rather than their arcane knowledge to sway erstwhile enemies to their side. Much studied by academic wizards, the nature of this spell remains something of a mystery, but its power is not in doubt. Oh look, there's the uh, goatee man, down there. Uh, can we read any of this? No. Uh, yeah, let's go back down here. I guess he's going to be pretty pissed at us here. Because we let her get away. Ah, prisoner, you are wanted by the High Inquisitor. Best not to keep her waiting, yes? By all means, come back and speak to me afterwards. We've much to discuss. God, you're joking. Uh, well, can I use that spell? Oh, no, she's here. Right. What? Look at that. Ah, Prisoner 17, wasn't it? Our drones have been tracking you. It seems that Vela has escaped. I couldn't apprehend her. I failed. Nonsense. I was certain you would be cut into tiny pieces. It's astounding you made it this far. But your sentence still stands. You may yet prove your usefulness. We must ascertain where Vela has fled to. Luckily for us, I know just who we can ask. I don't know why they have so many pauses. <laughs> Oh, she, she may have vomited. Excuse me. Your Neric Isles are home to a number of former Dark Star mercenaries. My superiors would rather I executed them, but she is silent at the moment. They are of more use to us alive. If anyone knows where Vela went, they will. I would start with Jack Basalt, former Navy captain turned sellsword. We have already contacted him and arranged a meeting. You can find him at the Wobbly Noggin pub in Hallow Town, in the centre of the Oneric Isles. Sounds like the Wobbly Goblin. Basalt has promised to direct us towards his comrades. In exchange for the polymath's pardon, he can help you find the others. Why me, of all your agents? The Dark Stars are deeply mistrustful of the Inquisition. You could say we've had a few run-ins in the past. As one of our newest and most amenable operatives, you may have better luck than another of my agents. Which way is it to Hallow Town? Follow the road south through the village of Pwill and cross the gate bridge. It should get you to Hallowshire. You need to acquire an apostatic union passport to cross the bridge. I wish I could grant you one myself, but we are undersupplied. Perhaps the locals in the village of Pwill could help you. Got it. Good. And be careful. These islands are on the very fringe of apostatic Union territory. There may be worshippers, or even minor gods who have fled the Union's purges tucked away here. The only assuredly faithless place is Hallow Town. And beyond Hallow Shire's borders, there is ground even Union boots won't tread upon. To the east, the Clockwork Kingdom is in full-blown crisis, where the people of the Endless Realm to the west are cursed to never die. My tribunal will establish a command post in this fortress, the Blinding Light. Return here to recuperate, if you wish. Oh, and one more thing. From now on, you'll be known as Confessor 17. This doesn't change your crimes or your sentence, but it sounds better than prisoner, eh? Farewell, Confessor. So, she... There she is was a prisoner as well. She told me. 
when I was reading through some of the conversations with her. Uh, I need to speak to um, the goatee man to tell him to get some tea as well. Oops. I knew you survived the assault. The drones were all but certain you'd meet a gruesome end. But you showed them, eh? What the tea you wanted? What was that tea again? Scry shroom tea for my wife. They make it here in Powell Village. Just south down the road from the Blinding Light Fortress. Okay. Right. Can I go back this way and do that upgrade property thing? No, that doesn't do anything then, does it? Um, up this way here. Just save. Right, I've got 65 coin. Quarters. Right, I can build a quarters. Except. Oh, unfurnished. What? Don't even have a bed. What the hell? Oh, God, I've just spent all that money and all that resources and I don't even have a bed still under construction or oh, what on earth what have I just done right okay <laughs> that's not good can I sleep in this bed at least and get me stamina back mugged oh what I thought this was meant to be safe Must have nicked a coin off me. What on earth? Right. Down we go then. Let's go. Oh yeah, maybe I should actually ask him about the mission. Got the mission right here we go. Um Oh Already asked all that. No, nothing else, thank you. Goodbye. Right, okay, let's get out of here somehow. Can I get in here? Nope. Oh the lift is already here. Right, let's go down. Right, if we've secured the fort, surely there can't be any more mercenaries around or something, is there? Oh, and the yellow brick road here too, look at this. Right, what's this? Oh, another crystal thing. Right. Okay, let's be on our way. Oh, look at this dude here, what's this? What's he doing? Oh my, what's all that commotion over yonder? I appear to be quite lost. I bought a map of these on Eric Isles back to Riova, but it seems to be decades out of date. That's the trouble with these fringe islands. Every few decades they've floated in different positions. Take my advice, traveller. If you're looking to explore, make sure you find an accurate map. Where can I find a map? The Erudite Academy is flying over Hallowshire to the south of here. Can you see it up there, in the sky? It travels all over the Apostatic Union, so I've heard. I met one of their scholars in a red tent in the forest underneath Powell Village, though I've seen them in other places too. Believe it or not, they're working on a map of the region right now, only it's not quite ready. Still, I try asking them. Worth a shot, eh? Uh, where are you trying to get to? The Endless Realm. People never die. Even though the f Why would you want to go there? <laughs> I always dreamed of going there someday. He's twisted, isn't he? They've reformed their ways. They only eat non-sentient meat and are on good terms with the apostatic union. So I said to myself, what do I have to lose? Well, all your flesh. Well, they could still eat me. Exactly. Okay. Ah, oh, what the hell's just happened there? Right, off we go. Anything I can get here? Nope. Uh, more of these mushrooms? 
Do I have a compass? Follow these signs here. Uh, what on earth does that say? Pwill Village, here we go. The Sacred Shroom. Well, it's Pwill Village that I'm heading towards. Oh, is there a dragon over there? Let's see what we've got here. I don't know if there's any shit. Oh my god, is that? Whoa. Why can't I hurt it? Oh, I can. I just have to be super close. Come on, one more hit, one more hit. There we go. There's a dragon. Again, another one. I don't want to get too close to that, I don't think, do I? What's this do here? Paradoxicus. Impossible flower that shifts between different shapes. Nice. Can I get into this building? Oh shit, I think I've just... Oh no, I thought I'd been seen again by something. Yes, we're in. Oh, look at this. Death's Fail. A legendary mushroom. Wow. Mana. Elixir of Restoration. Health and mana to maximum. Poor guy's dead, I think. Uh, right, we've got a chest over there by the looks of it. Three lockpicks, a couple of coins here. Perfect. Chest over here. Coins and a candle? Something? I must get a better sword. There has to be a better sword around. Right, back on the road. Are these street lights? That is a weird noise. Is that the dragon or something? Let's leg it over this bridge here. Saving. Oh, who's this? Oh, a newcomer. Well, uh, uh, well, well, welcome to Pwell Village. My name's Lou Wood. Were you um, involved in all that commotion at the old fort? Uh, I'm an Inquisition agent. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise. Don't look <laughs> like one of those agents. You must be undercover, right? What if it would help? I could tell you about our t -t town. But it's a humble village. Have you heard of the Shkrish Room? It's a mushroom that shows you the f -f -f future. We grow it and sell it. Only things aren't going so well. People are worried. What's going wrong? The crop yield is bad. Each year we've been growing less Shkrish Room. Some people are getting worried. I've heard some people are considering the old ways. You know, consorting with Wiccans and gods. That's very stupid of them. Very illegal, but also kind of exciting, wouldn't you say? Um, I just mean, it's very boring here sometimes. <laughs> the local Waymaster Culwich has gotten pretty spooked by it all. He's weighing everyone who comes by, just to make sure they're not a Wiccan. But my mother, Olwyn, she's the mayor, doesn't seem too bothered by it all. She's much too worried about something else. I heard a mumbling about some sort of monster. Oh, I'm sorry, I do tend to waffle, don't I? Is there anything you'd like to know? Point me around town. You'll find the warehouse, the warehouse, Culwich. He's pretty respected around here. Nearby is the Shroom Company, which sells Shrooms, of course, and other things. <laughs> Further up the hill is the mayor's house. That's where my mother, I mean the mayor lives. She sometimes has work going. And further up is the old sh old sacred shroom. Only it's dead. Okay. Nice kid. So, he's told us about his mother, who's the mayor. And apparently this uh, scry shroom tea lets you see the future. He isn't allowed any. Because <laughs> he's too young. And the wearmaster is weighing people at the moment because that tells him whether they are sympathizers to the gods or not 
It's crazy. Take some of that. Save. Um, where the hell are we going? Up this one here, I guess. It's a good place to start. There's any. Must be a merchant's. Oh, here we go. Greetings, traveller. Welcome to the uh, the Pwill Port of the Winged Merchants Guild. I'm the Harbour Master. Can I help you? I'm going to get my own airship? No. Takes a lot of coin, you know. Most union merchants only have shares of the ships they use. Need a writ of permission from the Reoven Port Authority. You're not going to find one of those lying around. Okay. I just actually wanted to just to buy something, to be fair. So we saw Vela float off. Ah, this must be the one here. This must be the shop. Yeah, we saw Vela float off in an airship. Oh my god, Thieves Guild. You fair, sir. Got business here. Talk to Dwin at the counter. He's a proprietor of this business. I'm really only employed to make sure things go smoothly. How do you make sure things go smoothly? I wouldn't feel comfortable discussing them over tea. I'm a mercenary, you see. Fought with the Bion Serpents, the Lundell Blackguard, and even the Dark Stars for a time. I protect the business interests of this fine gentleman, nothing more. So please pay me no heed. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your motives better be pretty fucking congenial, because it's no secret that I'm a former Dark Star Merc myself. Of course, I haven't served with them in years. I left after the mutiny, once it became clear that Vela's ambitions, once so intoxicating, were likely to get us all killed. Well, out with it then. Exactly who are you looking for? I'm meeting with Jack Basalt. Good old Jack. They still call him Shame of the Navy after he abandoned his rank and station to join Vela's merry band. In battle the man was a demon. When his voice bellowed across the deck of a skyship, sword raised high, he made sure to heed it. Below decks he found time to share a drink with those under his command, learning their names, their troubles. Not every merc captain does that. Of course, I don't know if that was thanks to a kind heart or his weakness for the strong stuff. Let me guess, you're meeting in a pub, right? <laughs> Tell me about Vela. Now oh, that's a good one. You're just going to stride up to the boss lady and claim that union bounty, are you? Don't get me wrong. I never really knew the woman. I was too low rank to be clinking in my tankard with her. But I've been privy to some of her deeds and well. Let's just say you don't ever want to cross swords with Vela Colors. As for where she's gone... I haven't the slightest idea, and I wouldn't tell you if I did. That woman has plans in motion that I couldn't begin to comprehend, and I won't be found complicit in trying to thwart her efforts for the sake of my own neck. Okay, that's enough. You didn't hear any of this from me, are we clear? <laughs> right, let's speak to the merchant. Welcome, pull up a stool. Looking for Scryshroom, you come to the right place. Do you know what Scryshroom does, newcomer? Yes. Then you'll have heard it shows us the future. But see, that puts some folk off, as they're scared of what they might see. I mean to tell you, it ain't like that. There ain't no cipher spell in the great library of Bion that can do what Scryshroom does. It plunges you into the river of time, so you can see the bends and the currents rushing towards you. Do you know how I grew this business? Not with luck, my friend, oh no. I used the humble Scryshroom to outsmart my rivals, and now the company ships into every corner of the apostatic union. So what do you say? Are you buying? Um, what sort of visions come true? Well, I can't say they're always right. <laughs> the future can be changed, see? And I won't be held accountable for any foolishness or failures you get yourself into after you use them. What are you selling? Pot of Scryshroom, tea on the brew. The other odds and ends. Room to rent upstairs for two coin if you need some rest. See what you have for sale. Here's what we got. Oh, compass. Uh, oh, God, it's going to use all of my... Okay. Um, I 
do need one. Accept. Right. Oh no. Uh, I want to ask him about the passport. Only union officials and certified traders can dispense them. Talk to Culwich. I'll just hand them out for everyone. Okay, thanks. Uh, never mind. Right. Uh, how can I can I fast travel? Is there a map where I can fast travel? Right. Here we go. Let's give the dude the tea. Not that tea you wanted. I got you some. How thoughtful of you. Must let this brew. Confessor, this is... Excuse me. Damn fine tea. Yes, here we go. Tried an extraordinary number of teas in my time. And this is one of the best. <laughs> My wife is going to love it. Take this in recompense. Oh, I've got a glimmer. Beads of sweat. Oh my god, damn fine tea indeed. Alright, off we go. <laughs> wow, look at that massive thing over there. Is that the... Uh, the beast or whatever that... The kid was talking about. Oh, that's going to take some killing, that. Right, I want to find either the mayor or the waymaster. Um, I've been there already. What's up here? Oh, it's supposed to be the mayor. Here we go. Flames or the flames. We have to douse the flames. Is he seeing the future here or something? Is everything okay? Ah, what are you doing? Got to get out of here. The naughty lob will burn you alive. What are you talking about? The monster rising above the flames, or the horror. We have to... Nothing's on fire, is it? Nope. How oh, embarrassing. I'm terribly sorry you caught me in the middle of a... Div... What? Divination? Di divination? My name is Olwen, mayor of this humble village of Pwill. How do you do? Did you say divination? Oh, by the Sky Realms, not at all. There is only a distinct possibility we will we'll be. I can't even speak. We will be burned alive. I found myself presented with quite the dilemma. It's really nothing to worry about, so please don't cause a fuss. I have the whole thing quite under control. I was merely indulging in a scry shroom meditation to divine what manner of threat this giant monster could pose. And it turns out it's really not much of a problem at all. What's this about? A giant monster? Oh, so it's not common knowledge. I thought the whole town would be talking about it by now. A small mercenary band has made certain demands. I don't mean Vela's dark stars. This lot are much less accomplished. Makes it all the more puzzling how they've got their hands on a giant Nauta lob. What's a Nauta lob exactly? Just Skyrim's mollusks that you'll find around these parts. Easy recognisable by their shells. But I had absolutely no idea they could get this big. Those mercenary scoundrels are threatening me with their huge naughty lob. <laughs> they claim they'll sack the town if I don't go. I don't know why I found that so funny. <laughs> Threaten my missus with my huge naughty lob later on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really don't want to cause a panic in the town, so I'm at a loss at what to do. But if someone could sneak into their fortress to the southeast and ascertain whether this naughty lob thing has any weakness we could exploit, well. Let's just say that person will find themselves firmly within my favour. What if these mercenaries were to disappear? Oh well, that would be quite the tragedy. The idea of... Oh, she doesn't like that. <laughs> More blood being spilled on Pawillian soil is a horrible thought. But of course, it would rather solve the problem, wouldn't it? And with so little funds to hire the guards, it would be awfully hard to catch the perpetrator of such a crime. Oh, but pay me no mind. I'm merely thinking out loud. Was there anything else? She's as bent as a nine bob note, isn't she? What a corrupt mare. Um, giant Nautilob. Still there? Yes, it is. 
Tell me what you need. I've read all this. What is a nautilob? Oh, I've read that as well. Okay. Uh, I met your son. My darling boy. Was he loitering around on the path again? I can never get that boy to pursue his studies no matter how hard I try. But I shouldn't be too hard on him. There aren't any of the children his age in Pwill. And my mayoral, mayoral duties keep me so busy. Nearly time for my invigorating intonations. Is she just an addict or something? Oh well. You can see yourself out, yes. No entry. As if. That's clever, isn't it? You just literally can't get past. No entry there. Ah, that's clever in a way. Right. I am already in love with this game, I think. Um, anything like Elder Scrolls. I mean, Oblivion is my favourite ever game. Oh, some coin here. Oblivion is my favourite game of all time. I really, really love Morrowind as well. And I'm just getting this vibe. I mean, not just from the graphics, but just the feel of it, the lore. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, it's chained up. Thank God for that. I can't fly over. Um, we're going to have to go and figure out how the hell we get into their base. But, for now, as we get right on the corner, look at the moon and the sun. I'm just brabbling away here. Um, for now, guys, let's run up here and see this view. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> right, that's our next target. The naughty lob. The huge naughty lob, apparently. But for now, guys, that is where we're going to leave it. So, I don't know how many hours this game is. Oop. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I just cannot wait to get more deeply into this and share it with you. So, if you want to see more, drop a like. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'll be extremely grateful. Guys, as always, I'll see you in the next one for some more Dread Delusion.